Well, good evening, Robin and Max. Yeah, a much different scene here at President Circle here on the U of U campus right now. This time yesterday, there were about two dozen tents set up here behind me in President Circle as protesters in support of Palestinians gathered here in President's Circle. Now, while it remained pretty calm throughout most of the night, things started to intensify out here around 10 p.m. after protesters were asked to take down their encampment. Now, from where I'm standing, police, they actually pushed the crowd along here all the way down to the intersection way down there at East 2nd South and South 13 East until everyone who was a part of the protest ended up leaving. Now, I spoke with Chris Nelson, a spokesperson with the University Tuesday afternoon. He says protesters are welcome on campus and that most of the campus is a free speech zone. Nelson tells me the intervention Monday night was not about the protest itself, saying it dealt with violating state administrative law and university rules on camps on campus. Now, we've seen similar scenes of tents up for events like ESPN College Game Day last fall in this same very spot in President's Circle as the protest last night. So I asked Nelson to explain the difference between the two events. That is a sanctioned university event with a limited time. Um, and so again, they had approval of the university. There was a time limit. They had agreed to follow certain rules. They had applied for permits. Uh, so that, that's the main difference. Nelson tells me that some faculty members had been interacting with the leaders of the protests and thought an agreement had been reached that the tents would come down around 9 o'clock last night. He says in exchange for that, a listening session would have been held today. However, that did not happen. Now, as for a scheduled protest tonight, Nelson says they will again hold the line in terms of having tents or anything that looks like a permanent structure put up here on campus. Now, this all comes just days before the commencement ceremonies at the Huntsman Center here at the University of Utah Thursday night. Now, Nelson tells me those attending graduation, they should expect to see more of a police and security presence, that is, to make sure that everyone is safe and that there are no disruptions during those graduation ceremonies. But for now, live here on the U of U campus, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.